All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Bo Allen. Wash NFL D-Tackle, Bo Allen here. I've been watching a lot of these interior defensive linemen in the draft. It's a very talented group. I'm um, interested to see how they're going to fit in with their new schemes and excited to watch them. So first up, we have Jalen Carter. He is a very, very talented player on the best team in college football in the last couple of years, Georgia. Drafted ninth overall to Philadelphia Eagles team that I'm familiar with for my time there. I think that's honestly a really, really good pick. Howie was getting a lot of love for it. Rightfully so. He's a great fit with their scheme. Eagles do have a new defensive coordinator in Sean Desai coming up, so there's a little bit of uncertainty in you know, what exactly he's going to run, the scheme he's going to use, and how Jalen Carter will be used. But I think you know, Jalen Carter is a player that has a lot of versatility. You can expect him to play a lot of four eye, a lot of three technique. Uh, that's really where he excels. But he can also rush really well from, you know, a zero tech, a one technique. He can play two eye. So he's a very versatile player that's going to fit in really well with this Eagles defense. Uh, we'll do a really, really good job of replacing some produ production from Javon Hargrave, who left in free agency to the 49ers. So that's a big fit uh, there. You know, prior to the draft, there were uh, some off the field issues with Jalen Carter that much ado was made about. I'd like to point out that the Eagles team has a lot of really, really good vet leadership, guys that I know personally and love. Um, you know, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox. I saw Jalen Carter pound around with my good buddy Jason Kelsey at the NFL draft that, that kind of stuff goes a long way I'm not really worried about Jalen Carter off the field in Philly this vet leadership is really good to get him squared away so just want to talk about him first of all he's super super uh, versatile he's played all over the line um, whether you know in early downs as a four eye he plays a lot as a three technique in rush situations also be utilized as a two eye um, likely a zero tech as well and a shade so it kind of remains to be seen how Desai is going to use him in the upcoming uh, 2023 defense for the Eagles, but um, lots of options. His, his versatility is great. His first couple clips, I just want to show how good of an athlete he is. So here he is. Jalen Carter knows uh, zero tech rush. You see him lined up right over the center. That's, that's what a zero tech is. Your boy spent a lot of time down there. Uh, what I love about this clip is his get off. So I'm going to run this back real quick. As D Lyman, we watched the first you know, milliseconds of a snap over and over again. So get used to that. But um, what I love is just his launch out of his stance and how quickly he's able to attack the snap hand to the center and, you know, split it before the guard can come down and help the center. We'll watch it from the end zone copy. I think it'll be a little more clear. You see um, Jalen Carter right there. Empty backfield. The quarterback will motion the running back back in. Do that for a lot of different reasons. Protection. Otherwise, you know. We're not worried about that. We're worried about Jalen Carter. So here he is. What I love is that launch out of his stance. You see how quick and explosive and twitchy he is. It's really, really nice to see. And then that is a really vet move, um, attacking the center snap hand, which you like to see out of a young guy. Boom. And he's able to crack the center and the guard, um, help his looper out before the guard can even get there. So that's a really nice thing. You really want to see that. It'll be really good to see from some overload rushes that the Eagles like to do when they line three dudes up to one side. Um, that'll definitely carry over. This other clip I think is really funny. This has been a popular clip um, to watch Jalen Carter. So he's standing up, uh, kind of like a three technique, a wide three. Big men love doing this kind of shit. I always like doing it out of a, out of a stance better. Um, but, you know, when you get up there, you're wandering around, you feel like you're confusing the O-line. And let's be honest, man, you kind of feel like you're athletic. You look sick. Um, but that's not what I love about this clip. What I like is just how fast you can put on the brakes throw the center by him and then his closing speed he hits that little arm over his speed to close on the quarterback and make the play there is what I really 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 like about that clip so just his athleticism his twitchiness his body control um, his awareness to see all this space and then the quarterback stepping up in the pocket and then boom just to be able to go finish that play it's really impressive athletically uh, so we're going to transition a little bit now and, and talk about some run stuff I briefly mentioned Sean Desai. Um, you can expect him to likely run a lot of tight front um, in base, you know, on early downs. And Jalen Carter will likely be a four eye there. Um, you know, that kind of remains to be seen how he'll be used. But Desai has a background in the Fangio coaching tree. So a lot of tight fronts. And then I did mention earlier, like, he is super versatile. So you, you will likely see him as a three technique, two eye, uh, shade, zero technique. Um, and what we saw from those clips earlier is, you know, he can rush and generate pressure out of a zero as well. 
which is excellent. Um, but for this, I just want to show him as a four eye. So you see him lined up on the inside half of the um, offensive tackle here against Alabama. A lot of good things here. So we called this a half charge in New England. Basically, he's a B gap player as a four eye lined up on the inside half of the tackle. And he has this B gap, okay? And so he's just angling down to play a three technique on the guard to play a B block because these dudes, when, when you're in a zone read is a big thing in college, zone read RPOs, and it's becoming a really big thing in the NFL as well. When you are to the side of the running back, you can expect an inside zone run away. So these two dudes are B blocking. The guard and the tackle are comboing up to the backer here so that this running back, if he gets the ball, can roll this up and then cut it back, okay? So what Georgia's defense is doing is they're just doing a little half gap exchange, run the linebacker over the top. He's taking this B gap. And what, what that's really nice against zone reads and RPOs because it can fuck up, confuse the offensive line. And then also quarterback can keep it. He'll get smacked by the uh, linebacker here. But all I like about this is how he's really able. He's just explosive off the snap. Nice step work, nice step, nice footwork. And then able to get to the guard really, really easily. And I think with how popular RPO zone reads are becoming in the NFL, like this is a good thing. So we're going to juxtapose that against one of my favorite players I played against, Man Dog, Fletcher Cox. Here he is. So pre-snap, this is an early down defense from the Eagles. I think this is from last year. So Fletch really is kind of a four-eye player here, but it's a very similar scenario. So since Fletch is to a two-man surface here, you know, he's got Hassan Reddick to his outside. Fletcher's to the running back, so you can expect um, – you know, a run away from him. Usually if you are, if you have an overhang, if you have an outside linebacker with you and you're to a two man side, you're, you're probably going to get a fucking fan block. That's like classic three, four blocking schemes from um, zone teams, especially inside zone teams. So Fletch knows that this guard is going to be with him anyway. So he just bumps down and plays a three technique instead of a four eye, which I like. Fletch knows there's a fucking fan coming. Okay. This is what you want to see eventually out of Jalen Carter. Watch how explosive Fletcher is. Boom, sticks him, throws him. He gets rid of him so fast. I love this clip from Fletch. Um, that's eventually what you want to see out of Jalen Carter when he can get that savvy. He can start to understand run schemes like Fletcher clearly does here. This is a fucking great, great play from Fletch. So that's what you eventually want to see out of Jalen Carter. You love that. Okay, so it's also expected that Jalen Carter will play a four eye um, for the Eagles. He might eat into a little bit of Milton Williams snaps, but number 93 Milton Williams right here for the Eagles is a really good player. He's a really good two gapper. Um, here the Cowboys are just running like a basic power. So they're going to pull the backside guard. They're going to base block 93 here. He has the, he has the B gap. Okay. What I like about this, this is just super sound technique. Nice. Gets his hands into him fast. He's extended with his left arm. He feels this color from this guard flash across his face. There is no B gap, right? Once he feels the B gap's gone, he, you know, he puts his weight, he really kind of throws him. He gets that inside arm over with his right arm, comes back and gets it on the play. That's a great, great play. I mean, it doesn't really look like much. It's like a two yard game, but people don't understand how hard it is to two gap. I just think that's a really, really good rep. Um, so you can expect that, you know, a similar, you know, four eye kind of technique from Jalen Carter going forward. And Milton Williams would be a great player for him to learn from because he's really good two gapper. Let's see this from the end zone copy, right? So this guy is going to pull. Here he is. B gap. Mm, B gap's gone. I really love his eyes here. Okay. So watch him. He's getting his base. Look at his eyes right here. He knows he's in his B gap. He's got all of his weight as inside foot. He's posted with that left hand, you know, in the tackles armpit right here. That's really good technique. Like this, he makes his shit look easy. I, I can tell you guys, it's not fucking easy. Okay. Then he does that arm over, gets across his body, gets in on the tackle. It's really nice. I think Milton Williams is a good player, man. All right, so moving forward, we talked about some run stuff. It still kind of remains to be seen what exactly the Eagles are going to do on defense in 2023. Likely, um, you know, a bunch of different shit, mixed fronts. They'll probably be odd, uh, you know, on their base stuff, tight front with Jordan Davis. They got Fletcher. Uh, they got Milton Williams. They have a lot of good weapons on their front seven. But I want to talk about uh, some pass rush stuff with Jalen Carter, too, because that's where D-linemen make their money. So here he is as a three technique. I don't know why it's size. He's playing Oregon again. Um, it's empty, uh, so you can expect the ball to be out fast. A lot of times you'll see a lot of communication from offensive linemen, but you see here there's three Georgia defenders. There's three, um, you know, o linemen here, so it's very, very likely that Carter's going to have a one-on-one -on, -one on this on this right guard. 
All I'm fucking liking from this clip. Wait till we get to the action here. It's super basic stuff. Just the ability for him as a three technique to get off, get off the ball, and create penetration. It's super nice. Really basic stuff. Don't want to get too far into it, but here he is with a one-on-one. -on -one. Winning is one-on-one. -on -one. That's really what the NFL boils down to is getting your best players in one-on-one -on -one situations and them, them winning. And you're going to see a lot of that in the future here. That's what Fletcher Cox made a lot, a lot of money doing. Fucking great at it. Show a couple clips of that. But Jalen Carter just fucking excellent get off getting up the field and to win as an outside rusher as a three technique is excellent so here he is this is an end zone copy it's a much better view he's a wide three here's the alignment oh hey yeah we got these guys oh awesome he knows he's one-on-one -on -one. you love to see it bring the back back in oh, i love that arm so watch his one thing that's really nice too is just how violent his hands are it talks about him attacking the center snap hand earlier but look, it's almost like it's just so low at this dip and rip, his ankle flexibility. Ugh, to be young with that kind of dorsiflexion is so nice. So look at him just attacking the, the right guard's outside arm right here with that chop swipe. Chop rip, really. Boom, right there. It's really nice, violent hands. And then just keep your feet, that bend. Uh, the O-line basically has to dump him. Um, quarterback gets a ball out, but that's a really nice rush. So I want to show that. Here's a clip from the Super Bowl with the Eagles. We are watching number 91, Man Dog Cox, up here. He's a, he is a left three technique, okay? Just like Jalen Carter in the last clip. Boom. Really nice rush from Fletch. I love it. See Fletcher attack the outside right hand of the guard. And then the, you know, the guard's kind of trying to recover. Fletch feels he's at quarterback depth, throws him by, puts on the brakes. Mahomes does a nice job stepping up. One other thing I want to talk about here, too, is you have Jordan Davis, uh, who I mentioned earlier, teammate of Jalen Carter's. This is a fucking load as a zero tech, okay? I like this clip from Jordan, too. <clears throat> I think he maybe could have felt a little bit earlier all this space in the A-gap that Mahomes eventually steps up to. I mean, let's be honest. This Creed Humphrey is a really good center, but Jordan Davis should fucking maul him when he's one-on-one. -on -one. He's just too big and too explosive. So I'd like to see Jordan Davis work to the left a little bit more just to basically feel this space. But we don't really know what he's being asked to do defensively. But here you go. Look, one, two, three, four, five one-on-ones for the Eagles. But there's Fletch putting on the brakes. Really nice job by Jordan Davis eventually getting over that A-gap. Getting on Mahomes, making him uncomfortable. I don't know how Mahomes completes some of these fucking passes. It's incredible. Anyway, moving on. So this one I want to talk about too a little bit. Who's this right here? Hey, Jordan Davis. Who's this right here? Hey, Jalen Carter. Who's this right here? Oh, Nolan Smith. Those are three fucking dogs that are going to be up in uh, Philly now. Fun to see them work together. Here's Nolan Smith. Little ET game. Really like how athletic Jalen Carter is to loop around that nice and tight. See how tight he comes there? That's fucking nice. You know, if he, if he loops too wide on that, just it's going to take longer. But look at that bend, that athleticism I like. And then check out Jordan Davis here, closing. Bam. And that's Richardson, who also just got drafted in the first round. Wow, I don't know how this clip snuck in here. Who's that? That's a fucking beast right there. Number 94, handsome fella. Look at the cheeks on that guy. Maybe Jalen Carter will turn out to be a really good player like that guy. Okay, moving on. Here we go. Um, so I just want to show this last one just as another example of what the Eagles might do in 2023 with their odd spacing, especially in early downs. So look, why, why they're in their base stuff. Here's Milton Williams. I was talking about earlier, Jordan Davis, number 95, Marlon Tua Pilatu, who's also a good player. Um, the line room is a little crowded in Philly though. So we'll see how that shakes out. Anyway, all we're doing with this clip is just watching Jordan Davis. Look at him attack the center, destroy him, knock him back. Really good job on the front side of this, too, from the defense, from the front seven. Let's wind that back. But look at this length and extension from Jordan Davis just bullying the center. Let's check out the end zone copy. It's even better. So here's that four eyes talking about zero, four eyes, tight, classic. Uh, they're doing some sort of. Uh, you know, run stun on the front side with the safety too. Not really going to get into that. Jordan Davis, boom, just knocked the center back. I love it. Like I was saying, look, when you have a back away from YY, it's almost, you know, I'd bet my life savings that this run is going to the right. And just a really good job being powerful and explosive by Jordan Davis. It's going to be really fun to watch this, um, this Eagles front seven in 2023.
All right, so yeah, I mean, I was just trying to go show as many clips I could of um, you know Jalen Carter in college, how explosive he is, how well he moves, how that might translate, um, you know, to his time in the NFL. You guys can see why he's a highly touted player and why people in Philly are excited about this pick. He's a very versatile player, very explosive, very fluid. He's got great hips, violent hands. Um, he's really going to be a. I think he'll be a big part of this Eagles defense moving forward. And I'd like to reiterate that the vet leadership in Philly is top of the line. They've got a great locker room, one that I miss dearly. And I think it'll be um, a really good thing. I think they'll get him squared away, and he's going to be a very important piece of this 2023 Eagles defense.